So the Sea Audio Bravery is one of Sea Audio's latest $250 releases. It's in the sort of mid-range bracket. And albeit being a new company, I think Sea Audio definitely delivered with the Sea Audio Bravery. It doesn't just look beautiful, but it also sounds quite beautiful. Now, disclaimer before we start the review, the Sea Audio Bravery was provided by a reviewer group in Indonesia uh, in exchange for a possibility that I would be able to get a discount in exchange for this review uh, in case that I was interested in buying uh, one of their IEMs, one of one of these Sea Audio IEMs. Uh, the Bravery actually. It applies only for the Bravery, I think. Um, I've done reviews with this group in the past for the BGV PDM8s and such. So you'll know by now, by now that the, the fact that they can give me a discount does not impact my objectiveness. And uh, this review is not being audited, reviewed by them whatsoever. So this review is just of my own opinion and I just get to upload whatever I want. Now, with that out of the way, just we'll just run through the build quality and packaging real quick because because i didn't actually get the whole packaging they just sent me this case a few ear tips and just the im itself so the ear tips that are i have attached here currently are the sony uh, triple comfort not, not uh, actually no these are the standard sony hybrids uh you don't get these with the uh, with the c audio braveries you actually get three salastec ear tips which are quite expensive um so the, these three salastec, salastec ear tips i think each pair costs about nearly 10 bucks so that's that's great value and aside from that <laughs> uh you also get the this cable by a uh, standard which is a hakuge cable which is not something i've seen happen for an iem that only costs 250 dollars hakuge cables in general i think this cable especially costs already at like 60 dollars so i think that's pretty damn nice value um and Speaking of which, the cable here that they've provided, uh, I think in general, I actually really like this cable. I've been trying to get my hands on a cable uh, just like this. Uh, I haven't really bought this cable for myself because the chin slider doesn't really work that well. Uh, I'm not a fan of the chin slider. I actually use the chin slider quite a bit on my cables, so it's quite important to me. Uh, but aside from that, it's quite supple which is surprising considering that it's braided with a sleeve uh, and I do know that the, uh, there is a possibility for it to just get harder with well, with time because uh, if it dries up or something or you get liquids on them it can dry up uh, and then it will be less supple but most of the time most of the like, these cables I haven't had that issue with um, overall it's not that microphonic I quite like this cable uh, only problem is it's obviously a straight jack uh, for portable things you know that I always complain that it should not be a straight jack if it's an a, it's supposed to be a portable item like portable headphones IEMs they should always be ankle jacks because if you plug it into your phone the, it has bigger leverage and it just it can break your headphone jack quite a bit easier now I've had that happen with my Poco F1 so that's why I complain a lot about this in videos Aside from that, the connection here for some reason is exposed. Uh, it seems like it, sh it should have been recessed, but I, s I don't know why they did that. But it seems to be pretty solid anyways, it doesn't wobble that badly. Uh, but I would like that just to throw out caution for that. Now aside from that, the uh, shell itself, albeit the fa faceplate being absolutely beautiful, I think I really like the pattern that they've put in the shell. The shell itself is actually quite empty. It's, it's very empty, I don't, I don't know if I... In the video will be able to you'll be able to pick this up in a video but it's actually empty um, so it, <laughs> on closer inspection it doesn't look that great and the faceplate is joined quite harshly it's smooth no issues at that but I don't feel like it, it just doesn't look like it belongs here sometimes looking at it at it not too closely it does look beautiful so i don't have any, any issues with it it's only also fully isolate uh, fully isolated there's no fence whatsoever fitting is quite comfortable so that's that and yeah that that pretty much speaks all about the build quality and packaging that i've gotten from them now let's talk about sound because that's where things get very interesting at 250 dollars i think this is what probably one of the best ims i've heard in a really long time um the C Audio Braveries, in a nutshell, they sound uh, mildly U-shaped, I would say. 
it definitely has emphasized space and emphasized uh, upper treble and we'll get into more detail about that once we start talking about uh, the bass right so the base of the C Audio Bravery, albeit it being a fully BA IEM, it does not have any dynamic drivers, but it's probably one of the best BA bases I've heard, um, period, amongst all our IEMs. It really it has quite nice texture, it has plenty of sub bass, plenty of extension, it has great sub bass slam, mid bass is emphasized as well, it kicks pretty well for a BA. Uh, and I'll, although I mentioned that it is pretty nicely textured, but sometimes you will be able to notice that the fact that this is in the end still a BA IEM, but for a BA, I think the implementation is absolutely stunning, right? And the bass itself is very well controlled. Speed, I think, is more on the medium side of things. Uh, it doesn't really fall behind on uh, fast songs, but if you listen to something like uh, what's it called? Mm. Dragon Force, it can fall behind sometimes, but not most of the time. It's 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 very well controlled. It also doesn't bleed into the mid range, uh, so that's pretty nice. And yeah, I'm overall for a BA, I'm, I mean for a BA fully BA IEM, I'm quite impressed. And although the quantity is quite a lot, it's actually quite a lot the overall control is still very good so I'm quite satisfied with that now uh, the mid-range on the C audio bravery isn't is only slightly thick side it's not too thick lower mids are a bit thicker than uh, I would be uh, that I would call neutral but it's quite pleasant and it doesn't really suffer from that again from that bass bleed so it's quite nice to listen to uh, upper mids are a bit a bit forward not too forward th than what I'm used to like from the blessing twos and such so overall I think the mid-range is just very pleasant and especially wooden instruments I think on the uh, C audio bravery sounds really very nice uh, I was pretty oh, how this is pre pre quite impressed when I was listening to guitars and such on the uh, see all your bravery, I really like them on these. And overall separation and details I think are great on these. Uh, so, yeah. I don't really have a lot of things to say on the mid-range, uh, aside from being able to say that these are very nice. And we can probably start talking about the trouble of the see all your bravery. Because this is where I have some issues. So, overall separation and detail of the trouble is great. No problems at all. Sibilance isn't bad, quite surprisingly. Uh, now, the problem I have with the Theory Bravery is around the 8000 region. Is This is where it's slightly above sibilance. Uh, this is where we start entering into uh, just right before symbols. It has some emphasis and it can sometimes qu sound quite kind of harsh to me. It's, it can sound overly aggressive at times. Uh, depending on the song that I'm listening to if for example what I'm listening to has a lot of uh, this uh, Sounds playing in the 8k region. It's just It can get quite fatiguing, but most of the time uh, I don't have this problem and even uh, The lower treble etc. No problem sibilance not too bad. It's actually just there the sibilance is just there. It's not overly emphasized so Overall, as long as I'm listening to the uh, C Audio bra Braveries uh, with music that doesn't really have a lot of uh, upper treble, I'm fine. Um, if you're overly sensitive to that region, you might want to reconsider this. So, yeah. Treble extension also is quite good. Uh, and that's pretty much all I can say about the treble. The only problem I have with the bravery is indeed just that uh, 8k region, which can be quite annoying at times. Now, when we talk about the sound stage, um, the sound stage of the uh, C bravery isn't that wide. If, for example, this from my head, I think the C audio bravery sound stage is just a bit closed in. It's like uh, th three quarters of a way from the center of my head. Uh, it's not the widest sound stage I've ever heard. But it's also not too narrow that it makes me dodgiated. I think it, this is uh, okay. It's quite acceptable. Like I would prefer a wider soundstage, but I can totally just 
stay with this. I'll be completely fine with this. Now, imaging on the audio bravery is also quite good. I was able to get 45 degree accuracy. And once again, I would like to say that um, soundstage and imaging from my reviews, I think you should take it with a huge grain of salt because I perceive uh, soundstage and imaging quite differently compared to other reviewers. So I've compared notes with some other reviewers as well uh, regarding this and I very rarely find an intersection between mine and their opinions on this subject. Now, um, now that we've pretty much covered all of the parts of the sound for the bless uh, Sailor Bravery 2s, I would like to just compare these with some IEMs in this sort of price range that we have. So, in two, at $250, th I don't really have any IEMs at that price range, but for some reason, when they're imported to Indonesia, the CRU Braveries cost around the same as the Blessing 2s, which the Blessing 2s should pri uh, be priced at around like $320 at release. These are around uh, $250 to $280, so it's probably some import tax and stuff, but yeah, for some reason the Braveries cost almost the same as the Blessing 2s here in Indonesia. So that's that. So I'll be comparing them to the Blessing 2s and also the BGV PDM8s, which I don't have with me currently. Um, but I guess uh, I'm still able to I was able to compare them now uh, the COD bravery has more base quantity compared to the blessing tools overall texture I would say I feel like the uh, blessing tools has better texture than the COD bravery the bravery also has a bit uh, how do you say this it has a bit less decay than the blessing tools the blessing tools have better uh, have longer decay um, and control, I believe they are both on the uh, on the same level, not too far apart. And yeah, now mid range, I think the blessing tools are a bit more aggressive. The upper mids are more forward compared to the braveries. Uh, the lower mids are a bit thinner on the blessing tools. So if you like more male focals, I think the um, braveries will probably fare you better than the uh, blessing tools, unless you like a more neutral presentation in the lower mids, uh, thinner presentation. Right. Uh, if you like more forward female focus, then you would also want to go to with the Blessing 2s. But other otherwise, I think the Bravery will do you quite well. Now, uh, the travel region, I think, is overall just smoother on the Blessing 2s. I was able to enjoy a longer listening session with the Blessing 2s than I was able to do so with, uh, with... I was not able to do so with the Braveries. So, if you're travel sensitive like I am, then the Blessing 2s are a safer choice compared to the Braveries. Soundstage, I was also able to perceive a larger soundstage with the Blessing 2s compared to the uh, Bravery. And imaging, I think they're quite on par. Now, compared to something like the BGVP DM8s, I think the BGVP DM8s are just overall a thicker sounding IEM compared to the um, Bravery. And overall, the BGVP DM8 just doesn't have the same amount of detail and just overall, uh, how do I say this? Uh, just doesn't have these technical capabilities of the braveries and I think aside from the fact that the BGVP DM8 just sounds uh, different compared to the braveries the um, DM8s are just they're way more relaxed compared to the braveries the thicker sounding but in in my personal opinion I would uh, I would choose the braveries any day of the week compared to the BGVP DM8s Unless if you prefer a lot thicker sounding IEM and which uh, an IEM that sounds a bit quite a bit safer as well, then you might want to go with the DM8s. Uh, I found that some people who didn't like the, how the aggressive the uh, Blessing 2's upper mid region can be usually like the DM8s. And for some people who think that the Blessing 2's sound too thin, uh, I found that the DM8s were the right answer for them as well. So yeah. Now, just a slight nitpick, uh, I think overall in terms of just calling out on build quality and shells in general, I think uh, although the cable etc sound uh, looks absolutely stunning on the braveries, I think just at $250, uh, I wasn't really expecting the shell to be quite this empty and that it just looked off with the faceplate because the Blessing 2's and the BG50 DMH. Sure, the Blessing 2s are a bit more expensive, but the Blessing 2s just look better, in my opinion. 
So, and the same could be said for the BGVPDM8 as well. I don't have the BGVPDM8 right now with me, but I, I'm sure that you've seen my, uh, you, or you can actually look at my review and just look at how beautiful the DM8s are. Okay, um, so conclusion wise, I would say that if you're looking for something uh, in, this, in this price range, if, if you're not sure about, um, if you're not sure that you like the Harman target, if you like a bit more bass, if you like a bit more, uh, a bit thicker sounding mid-range IEM, uh, and you don't, you're not overly sensitive to treble, I think the Braveries are a great choice. If you really like the Harman target and you like a thinner presentation uh, or, a, or a more neutral presentation in the mid-range, then I think the Blessing 2s are a better choice, um, especially if you don't mind the aggressiveness in the upper mid. Uh, but yeah, I think overall the, the braveries are a solid entry in this medium price range. So I think that that's it. Um, like if you like this video, comment what you think and subscribe if you want more content like this. And see you guys next time.